The purpose of my talk tonight is to you know, share with you some uh, reflection about an issue that uh, is at the center, really, of feminist mobilization across the world, uh, particularly in Latin America, but not only in Europe as well, which is the question of violence against women. And uh, a violence that uh, has increased enormously in uh, recent years, you know, raising some question as to what are its um, motivations. And uh, now what I want to do, first of all, is to um, show that even though the forms of violence against women across the world are very different, nevertheless, they have a common denominator, a common denominator which is uh, uh, to be found in the new forms of capitalist accumulation and also the new forms of work uh, that uh, women are performing and uh, in today. In fact, one of the points I want to make is that when we look at violence against women, we have to come to the conclusion that uh, for most women today across the world, work itself, the condition in which they work, it's a form of violence. I also want to speak of the way in which women are resisting this violence. Um, I'm told often that resistance is not a good work. Actually, it's better to speak about defending the condition, the notion of defense in a way it shows that uh, we have something that is important that we need to preserve, whereas resistance is a purely oppositional uh, activity. Um, but nevertheless, let me use it for this moment, this term, so I will look at how women are organizing in such a way that they can contrast this violence. And last, you know, I want to also use my talk to you know, throw some uh, light on the policies that are taking place in the United States, in Europe, with regard to immigration. And you probably have followed what has been taking place in the U.S. recently, the barbarous uh, decision by the Trump administration right, to separate families who are seeking asylum and who are trying to enter the country, separating them from their children. That, in fact, has amounted to a policy of uh, basically kidnapping of the children from their family, separation that uh, we don't know if we'll ever end and uh, if we'll ever lead to the conjunction between the children and their families. And what I want to, the, the point I want to make here is that uh, contrary to what it may seem, uh, the, the policies, the anti-immigrant policies, the Trump administration and many administrations across Europe are adopting are not really against immigrant labor as such. Rather, they are, you know, against uh, immigrant labor that uh, has been fighting, organizing for better condition, and uh, is to impose a type of immigration in which uh, workers work in slave-like condition. In other words, that the part of, uh, you know, imposing severe restriction on immigrant workers is not necessarily to stop migration flow, which in fact are activated by the very policies that uh, governments in the EU, the US, and international agency are adopting, but rather is to impose a type of migration that results in slave-like forms of labor. 